And it's time now for Consumer Confidential with KTLA's David Lazarus. That's right. He is joining us live. And, Laz, we've been talking about Starbucks dealing with some unhappy employees and now the company announcing some pretty big changes. Absolutely. It's a very big day for Starbucks. Now, first of all, the key headline here is Howard Schultz returning as CEO of Starbucks for the third time. It's like every time one of their CEOs exits, Howard Schultz comes back. But on his first day back in the big chair, he announced a very savvy PR move. Specifically, he's going to suspend the company's stock buybacks. If you're not familiar with what that is, a stock buyback is basically when a company buys back its own shares from the marketplace. What this does is it leaves fewer shares in circulation and thus almost always boosts the value of remaining shares that are out there. So obviously this is something that shareholders and executives tend to really love, but it doesn't do much for anybody else. And that's what Schultz seems to be aware of at a time of enormous employee dissatisfaction at Starbucks and when many individual stores are now unionizing or thinking about unionizing, Schultz is saying, okay, we're going to stop that practice and instead take the billion Billions of dollars we were going to devote to stock buybacks and uh, devote that instead to our workers and to our stores. All right, we'll have to see how that plays out. He's clearly trying to send a signal to his workforce that he cares about them, first of all, and that there is more money coming their way, which, again, is a very smart P PR move in the current climate, especially after we've been seeing other efforts to unionize, notably over at Amazon, starting to take ground. Well, this is going to at least address some of that. In October, Starbucks announced that it planned to spend $20 billion on stock buybacks over the next three years. That program is now suspended. It remains to be seen how much of that money will now go towards workers and stores. Not surprisingly, Starbucks stock down about 4% today as shareholders realize this isn't good for them, but it might be good for workers. Yeah, that's so funny, Laz. I was just looking up the stock price. I was like, I wonder how investors reacted to this news, but I yeah. totally hear you. It's a really interesting announcement for him to make. Okay, to another retail food chain, Burger King is dealing with a lawsuit claiming the company's Whopper isn't such a Whopper. Is this a frivolous <laughs> lawsuit or is this a real thing? You know, it's a little bit of both, Lauren, and, and we'll get to that in a sec. Basically, we're talking about a class action lawsuit filed in Florida, Burger King's home state, that is alleging that the burgers that are depicted in Burger King's ads are much bigger than the, the, the burgers that you will be served. Specifically, according to the lawsuit, the burgers in the ads look up to be about 35% bigger than what consumers are actually served. All right, there, there's some things to this. First of all, uh, the, 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 a lawyer for the plaintiffs is saying, well, what we're trying to do is to make sure that Burger King and other fast food chains are being more accurate, more realistic in their marketing, and is charging that uh, to not have uh, the, the marketing and the real products to be close is consumer fraud. Again, that's an allegation from the lawsuit. I think in reality, anybody who thinks that they're buying a Whopper and instead gets served a Whopper shouldn't be surprised. This is how things work in the fast food world, as well as in many food products where you're buying a bag of potato chips and then you end up seeing that there's got this many potato chips in them. Okay, there's some settling, there's some things. Uh, that, uh, that said, there is kind of a point to be made. It's clear that, that when you are buying a, a product at a fast food chain, it's going to be different looking than what you're seeing in the ads. Is there something there for a lawsuit? I'm not clear about that. We'll have to see how that plays out. But indeed, keep in mind, you're not buying a Whopper. You're buying a Whopper. Right. Back to you guys. Those are pictures. <laughs> I'm going to go get my right, scale. Exactly. And, <laughs> I'm going to get my scale and go order a oh, quarter pounder goodness. from McDonald's and see if it's that weight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let Ooh, you know. People have a lot of time on their hands. Thank you, David.